Half-wave rectification is one type of distortion effect. Here, the signal is clipped or distorted by taking the portions of the signal with negative amplitude and changing that to zero. The portions of the signal with positive amplitude are unchanged. We can implement this kind of effect in computer code by using conditional statements. Let's take a look at how we can implement our own half-wave rectifier. Let's look at a method that we can use to perform half-wave rectification. In a previous video, I started a script called distortion test and created a function called full wave rectification. As part of our distortion test script, we call this function and pass our input signal to be processed. Now, with full wave rectification, it works by taking the negative samples in our signal and flipping them to the positive version of that sample. Half wave rectification works a little bit differently. We want to preserve the positive samples in our signal without changing them, but then take the negative samples and set their amplitude to be zero. So we're going to create a new function to perform half-wave rectification. We'll start out this script by designating it to be a function script with an output signal that we create. We'll give it a name of half-wave rectification. We're going to pass in our input signal. I'll save this script, giving it the same name that we put on the first line. Now we can copy over some of our code from our full wave rectification that we're going to modify. Copy the same code over, say that this is half wave rectification. Here, when we have a positive value for our input signal, we want to assign that to the output. However, if we have a negative value under this condition, then we're going to set the output to zero. So our output takes on a value of zero. Now we'll go back to our distortion test. We can comment out this line of code that calls our full wave rectification. Instead, we want to use our other function. This is another nice thing about writing things as function. It makes it much easier to swap in and out code. So if we like, we can start out with our simple input signal. And I'll comment out these other lines. Now we can look at what happens when we call this half-wave rectification. I'll run this script with a breakpoint. So now we've created our input signal. And we're going to step in and look at what happens inside of our half wave rectification. So initially, when our input sample is positive, we're going to always end up in this conditional here. But then when we reach samples that go negative, we're going to jump down to our else statement and assign our output to have the value of zero. Now when we're done, we'll jump back over to our original distortion test script and plot this signal. So we've got our input, we'll plot our output. We can see that our output has this value of negative or of zero whenever our input goes negative. So I'll switch this back over to our sine wave signal. Remove the breakpoint and see that our function will create half-wave rectification. So now we're able to write a new function that performs half-wave rectification. 